Boy. Here we go. I they hear from. I'm sorry. You, you have a chance. Well, the, I'm not sorry. The, the hip, sit down. I, and I know you're not sorry. That's people, the point. The hypocrisy of this talk. speech. The I'm hypocrisy of the fact that. Frank what, what do you. Can you please. Frank Gisha is a leading. Make a statement about President Joe Biden's speech. This is a clearly warmongering speech. President Joe Biden is calling for $100 billion of funding. Uh, no. funding for Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine, and we're supposed to just bundle these together and pretend like we're going to rush to World War III. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just going to let Hillary Rodham Clinton sit here. And, okay. I'm yes. sorry. You know, yes. this is not, what, what, this is not no, the way no, to have no, a conversation. I'm sorry. If you want to have a conversation, opinion. you're no, welcome to come you, talk to you me can, afterwards. You can sit here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. You're yeah. gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna wait for me, right? I, please, I, I, I don't, I do you, not believe you. And I will you. listen to you, and I, do, I will respond. I do to not you, believe you. Respectfully, right. I do not believe you. Well, and the fact just, of the matter is that the just, American people's voice are what need to be heard. Yeah, because, they are being because heard. our president is not speaking for the American people, and well, neither are that's you. your opinion. No, God, please, no, no. No. And that's your opinion. Yes, that's my but, opinion. But, well, then sit down. We've heard your opinion. Thank you very much. Well, no fucking shit. This is free speech, everyone. This is free speech. That is not free speech. This is people t constructing narratives that are openly hypocritical. I'm sorry. You, the, the incredible hypocrisy. You know, maybe you could actually... Went with Eleanor Roosevelt to bring the separation of the rights of man. John Foster Dulles was involved with the CIA. Bro, what are you talking about, man? LGBT uh, conduct He's in Uganda. To push us to World War III. <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this.